Hi there, welcome to the free spot trading course from the Cisco. Within this course, we will discuss the entire process of spot trading from registering to the exchange and spot trading strategies to risk management, trade tracking with the trading diary and much more. We will also explore the Binance trading interface as well as approaches to spot trading on Binance like scalping, intraday and medium term trading. We will even show you how to trade on Binance using professional trading software. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. In our first video, we will talk about what spot trading is, how it works and how it differs from margin trading and futures trading. Spot trading works on the principle of exchange. You exchange uh, buy or sell one cryptocurrency for another. In essence, to succeed at spot trading, you buy cheaper and then you sell for more expensive price. Spot trading in cryptocurrencies resembles uh, stock trading on a stock exchange. And in the stock exchange, we buy a share with uh, fiat money, USD, Euro or another fiat and the asset transferred to us, to our portfolio. On the Binance Sport Market, the same thing happens. We buy a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin for fiat and receive it on our account. Then we can exchange the BTC for another cryptocurrency at any moment or sell it back for fiat money. In spot trading, there is only buy and sell operations. No borrowed funds or no leverage. There is no concept of opening a position. For the exchange, a spot transaction is an ordinary purchase or sell, just like one that would take place in a store. Therefore, the concept of long trading and short trading is not entirely applicable to spot trading. However, it's possible to trade long and short on the spot. Let's take a look at the example of long trading. If we buy BTC for 29,700 and then wait for the price to rise to 29,800, then we sell our profit is $100. Now another example. We have conducted a market analysis and understand that BTC will sink, but then the price will rebound back. We sell BTC at the current exchange rate of 29,800. Our analysis is confirmed and the price dips to 29,700. We buy BTC back at this price. Then the price is adjusted and returns to the previous level to 29,800. In total, we have $100 profit. To summarize, in spot trading, there are no concepts of short and long trading from the point of view of the exchange. These points are in the trader's mind. That's why it's impossible to track the dynamics of our position on the spot market. However, you can track position in the terminal. Let's use the example of CSCAP trading terminal. This is the interface of the CSCAP trading terminal. Here we have two working spaces for futures and for spot trading. We pay attention only on spot trading working space. I open the BTC and uh, the graph on the left and let's buy the BTC in the CISCAD terminal in spot. For example, we can choose here the amount of BTC or the sum in USDT that will be calculated in the number of lots. For example, we would like to buy the BTC for $50 input in dollars and here we have 000167 that corresponds to $50. Now we buy. Here we see uh, the loss and profit displayed in the order book. If the current price is lower than our entry point, uh, we see here the loss. If the price goes higher, we will see the green color showing us the profit. You can also see the position on the chart. Now let's look at the Binance interface. We see that there is nothing displayed except order history. We go lower here, order history, and we see our trade here. If we place a limit order for closing this position, it will be displayed in the order book. And then we go to Binance interface in open orders. We also see this limit order for fixing for closing our position. Here is the part that we referenced in the first video when discussing the advantages of the spot. The purchased asset will always remain with 
the trader in your portfolio. In the margin and futures trading, you can lose your deposit face liquidation. The purchased asset in uh, the spot remains with the trader. It's possible to withdraw it to a wallet or another exchange at any moment. In this video, we have analyzed the basic concepts uh, of spot trading and figured out how it works. It's fair to say that spot trading is the simplest uh, and most direct method to trade through the Binance exchange. Margin trading and futures trading require much more skills and knowledge and understanding of market mechanics. That's why many beginners start with the spot trading. There are several approaches to spot trading. Short-term trading, scalping intraday, medium-term trading, swing trading, and mid-market, and long-term trading, that is investing. We will analyze the features of each style in the following videos of this course. In the next video, we will show you how to register, pass the verification and deposit your Binance account. Subscribe to the Syscap TV channel to stay tuned. Wish you good luck in your trading education.